the work doesn't end on the day of the arrest. The work continues on all the way up until the day of trial. That ongoing detective work led to the arrest of this man now being tied to a string of murders across the valley dating back several years. And detectives say the motive for all of them was money. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera. Metro Police making that announcement earlier this afternoon. News 3's Georgia Costa has been delving into all those details, and he joins us now here in studio with more on this complex case. We well, yeah, had a very complicated case dating back from 2021 all the way through 2023, and Metro Police have connected Michael Coleman to four murders and another shooting. Now, Metro Homicide Lieutenant Jason Johansson says what led them to close these cases was Coleman's latest murder, which he was arrested for in May of last year. In February of 2023, Kadada Stewart was gunned down in front of a residence in the southwest area of town. As a result of that investigation, Michael Coleman was arrested. As Metro detectives build their case against Coleman, they learned of another man by the name of Carl Chester, who police say was running a crime ring, making money out of fraudulent government loans. As this fraudulent money that was obtained by Carl Chester and his associates was dispersed, to individuals, Chester would typically receive his cut of the money for the work that he did or how, how they got the lead to get the loan. Police say when Chester didn't receive his portion of the earnings, he would resort to violence, hiring Coleman as a hitman. Michael Coleman was tasked with murdering those who shorted Chester his money. And if Coleman couldn't get to the target of who owed them specifically the money, he would target their family members which is what happened in the Kadata Stewart case. Lieutenant Johansson says similar to Stewart's case, Coleman would conduct surveillance on his victims, tracking them until he could catch up with them. And in November of 2022, police say William Hill was shot and killed by Coleman outside of his home near Lake Mead and Hassel Avenue. In that investigation, a getaway driver who was driving a red Hyundai, the same red Hyundai that was used in the murder of Kadata Stewart, dropped him off. He walked up to William Hill and he murdered William Hill and then he was picked up by the getaway car and drove away. Now police identified the getaway driver as DeMarcus Banks who is now deceased. And a year prior to Hill's murder, Metro investigators also tied Coleman to the November 2021 murder of Marcus Dwayne Larry, who police say was shot and killed while ordering at the counter of a Summerlin restaurant. In that investigation, we arrested a man by the name of Oscar Richardson. And as you may recall, we later obtained evidence that Oscar Richardson was not the person who perpetrated the crime against Marcus Larry. And we later released him the minute we found out the details of his innocence. Six months prior, Metro Police connected Coleman to the first of the four murders dating back to the May 2021 killing of Benjamin McCarty. However, police say the motive behind that killing was unrelated to the other three murders and more so gang related. All were part of the early 2000s indictment of the Rolling 60s. Right now in this investigation, we believe the motive behind this is internal strife within the gangs connected to that indictment. Now, much police say Coleman remains at the Clark County Detention Center where he has been rebooked for the additional murders. Now, as for Chester, who organized the crimes, police say he was killed back in March by a member of Hills' family as an act of retaliation. For now, reporting in studio, Georgia Costa News 3. George, that was a lot to go through. Thank you for putting together that report. Metro Police have also connected Coleman to another shooting they say happened in the northwest part of the valley in 2021. While Metro detectives have yet to release details on that case, they say the victim survived and believe that person was also targeted through Carl Chester.